Hello and welcome to So Swiss Game Box. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I hope your day has been wonderful, magnificent, and perfect so far. We are back with Doki Doki Literature Club Natsuki Route Part 2. Please enjoy. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy? Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess? I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way? Sayori liked it. And Sosui did too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And, Sir Sui liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh crud, not this again! Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh eh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Sosui appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Mm. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobas magically grew a size bigger as soon as Sosui started showing up. That's a bit too much, Natsuki. N Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Ladies, don't shout at Monica, she's just trying to help! I... I don't like fighting guys! 
Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Oh god, here we go again! So sweet! She... she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poem all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, so sweet. But wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Sir Sui? Um... Well... Oh crud. Uh... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Again! It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think highly of me. So, of course that's gonna be... I'm sorry Yuri, I'll have to choose Natsuki this time. This is her route, so please, forgive me. Um... Yuri... You are really talented. Eh? W well... But Natsuki has a point. I think that... I wreck my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! It did! Didn't it? <laughs> Shows how much you know. Th that's not. Oh, Yuri, please, I'm sorry. Natsuki, I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki, not you too. Natsuki's voice whines. Why am I so weak? Why? Look, look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayuri is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You are a great writer, Natsuki. Eh? Huh? Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri? Hmm? Man, I feel sorry for her. Yuri looks at me, dejectedly. She is gonna hate me for sure. Oh well, it is what it is. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. So, you don't need to feel threatened either. Well... If you say so... Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, so sweet. Sheesh! Natsuki takes a breath. I... 
the thing about uh, Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. Hmm. Anyway, the thing about your boobers, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with everyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayuri? Uh, uh, I'll go make some tea. Eh? <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayuri. Trust me. I pet Sayuri on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, Everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, so sweet. What? Me? And, to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. What do you mean lazing around? Ha 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 ha. Ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all. Not at all. There's still time before we go home. So, we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is... It's having fun. Sayuri. Hmm. Ha 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 ha. Of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayuri. <laughs> in the end though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end... I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. So sweet, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Okay. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. So sweet. Ready to walk home? Yeah, sure. Always. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. 
It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri About what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know so sweet. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. This again. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sayuri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Alright. It's time to write a poem for Natsuki. Let's begin. Bunny. Uh, pink. Kawaii. Hair. Summer. What's next? Um, strawberry. I think it's strawberry. Nice. Waterfall, I guess? Cool. Next is... Um, I don't know. Whichever, I guess. Yup, sugar is the one. I think socks is two. Yeah. Next one is... Sticky? Alright, vanilla. Uh, shiny? Yeah, shiny works. Valentine. Pout. Doki Doki. Kitty, milk, lipstick, last one is, ooh, which one? It could be fantasy. I think it's fantasy. Hell yeah! Okay, I'm gonna skip this part to save time, so I'll be right back. Hmm. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I kept my promise. I pulled the first volume of Parfait Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. 
Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know? That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So, you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forgot. Ah, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found... Monica? Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. <sighs> I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Ah, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So, I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ah! The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop, trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez! This is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? That is true, Natsuki. 100%. Ah, Natsuki. There's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? I mean... I knew it. Well, I was just trying to help Natsuki. Come on! Well, you know what? Just watch me. I'll do that, just to make sure you're safe. Natsuki hops onto the stool which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Eh, uh, eh? Uh. Careful! I know what I'm doing! Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Oh crud, it doesn't look good. Wah wah wah! Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Th there. Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez. No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. 
I can reach them. So just. I said I can do it. I don't want your help, okay? Okay, Mrs. Grumpy Pants. Jeez. <sighs> I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desk attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. Ugh! Oh. It's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. I don't want her to nag at me again. Oh, sure. Natsuki climbs onto the chair, then slowly balances onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go! See? I can easily do it now! Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. What? Uh -huh. Whoa, she's wobbling! The chair swivels. Uh, should I at least hold the chair for her? Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was it who told me not to help? Come on me, now's not the time for that. It's common sense to hold office chairs if you're working like this. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. Huh? I can. I can almost see up her skirt. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, I might see her p p pansu. I forced myself to turn away because I'm a man. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes, I'll be dead and my head's gonna roll. Help! Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. Uh, uh, heavy. Hey, so sweet. Uh, I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Eh? But then, I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. Alright. If you say so. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Eh? eh? Natsuki looks like she just realized something but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box! W what are you looking at? Oh god, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. You're trying to look at my... my... Natsuki's legs shake. <laughs> Natsuki, I swear to god, that's not my intention. Uh, I'm not. I was just trying to help. Natsuki, don't try to move. Just give me the box. You, you perv, hentai, skibber, erowanko. You set me up. Go away. Ora hentai janai. Ora hentai janai. Get out. But you're gonna fall. I'll do it myself. Eh? Uh, eh? Uh. The chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki! Yeah. 
The scene turns to chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands, and the books go flying. I gotcha! <laughs> Straight to my gut. Oh, that hurts. The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Not the face. Ouch. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight on my chest. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Uh. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. Gah. She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up. Eh? Y yo, Natsuki. Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Gross, 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 gross. Gah! Oh. A fist pounds into my chest. Oh, that hurts. It's okay. I'm invincible. I'm okay. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko. <sighs> I'm having such a bad day. Well, at least she's safe. Is everything okay over there? Is that an angel? I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica? See what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez! Natsuki, please don't take it out on Monica. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. Monica, please, you gotta believe me. I'm not a pervert. It, it, it's an accident. So I hope you're happy. I, I didn't do anything. Somehow, it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. She is gonna think less of me for sure. I didn't do anything. I swear. I know, I know. Don't worry. Oh, Monica, thank you. I finally believe in Angel. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no. My? My? Huh? I look down. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Large crease. That's not good. Ah, it must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Ah, oh, Natsuki... Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Natsuki? You okay? <laughs> Natsuki, are you... No? Natsuki's voice squeaks. Man, that manga must really means to her. Hmm. I see tears on her face. Huh? I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partly my fault, so... 
Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. Please, Natsuki. It's okay. I really didn't mean to. It's okay, Natsuki. I'm invincible. I can take it. Don't worry about me. It's... It's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just... Every day... Is so hard. I just want to... Come to the club and... Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I'll help clean this up. And I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Okay. I pick up volume 2 of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This'll help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Eh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well... I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in the correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then, I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. Alright. That should do it. I hop off the stool. Hup! Natsuki averts her gaze. Th thanks. <laughs> it's okay, Natsuki. It's nothing. Don't mention it. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. Alright, I'm ready. Good. Even if you want, I'd make you anyway. That's fair enough. I'll gladly oblige. You're taking responsibility for what you said.
the thing about cheering me up. Of course, I promised, right? We sit in the same spot as last time, and I open the second volume. Nasuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. She is surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle repeated jokes and background elements. If you follow a series long enough, you'll be able to pick up small knickknacks from the background and add instances, naturally. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Manaka gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Look at that. That smile. I protected that smile. Smile, protection, success. Yep. Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know. <laughs> now, now, please don't shine that smell too bright or I'll turn to dust. Told you. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book into my bag. Alright, it's time to share poems again. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> 